According to a statement published by the Australian Department of Defence on February 13, 2021, Hanwha Defence Australia and Rio Metal Defence Australia have each delivered three prototype vehicles, two for test and evaluation activities, and one for blast testing as part of the two-year risk mitigation activity. Australia has launched the Land 400 Phase 3 program to provide the Australian Army with an advanced, cutting-edge tracked armoured infantry fighting vehicle capability, and replaced the old M113 as four-tracked armoured APC armoured personnel carrier in service with the Australian Armed Forces since the mid-1960s. The new infantry fighting vehicle will be a state-of-the-art tracked armoured vehicle, capable of carrying six soldiers in addition to a crew of three. These advanced vehicles will provide increased protection, mobility, and firepower for the ADF. The Morrison government's multi-billion dollar investment in Army's close combat vehicles has reached a significant milestone with the delivery of six prototype tests and evaluation vehicles from the project's two shortlisted suppliers. Minister for Defense, Senator the Han Linda Reynolds CSC said the delivery of the prototype vehicles is a crucial step in the project, allowing defense to assess the shortlisted suppliers. Performance claims focusing on the highest areas of technical risk. On September 16, 2019, the Australian government announced that Hanwha Defence Australia, with the Redback AS-21, and Rio Metal Defence Australia with its Lynx KF-41 had been assessed as offering vehicles that are best able to meet defence's requirements and to deliver a value-for-money solution, and have been invited to proceed to the next stage of the evaluation. The KF-41 Lynx is an infantry fighting vehicle in the Lynx family of a tracked armored vehicle design, developed and manufactured by the German company Rhein Metal Defense. The vehicle was unveiled in June 2018 at Eurository 2018 in two configurations, if and command post. The KF-41 has been designed to offer a new generation of tracked armored offering modularity and a high level of protection. The KF-41 if version can be fitted with the Lance turret which has earned, with the proven Rayan Metal 30mm MK30-2 ABM cannon and one 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The KF-41 Lynx has a unique design using a common drive module and a flexible mission kit arrangement to allow any base vehicle to be configured as an if, an armored personnel carrier, a command vehicle, a recovery vehicle or an ambulance. The modular survivability systems of the Lynx provide unprecedented flexibility for customers to cope with the wide variety of threats faced across the spectrum of conflict. The ballistic and mine protection packages can be easily exchanged, even in the field if needed, while the full spectrum of threats has been taken into account, including roof protection against cluster munitions. The Redback S21 is also a new generation of tracked armored if developed and designed by the South Korean company Hanwha Defense. The AS21 provides improved protection and high mobility, while providing superior crew comfort. It will be integrated with a proven digital battle management system BMS.
As for the German KF-41 Lynx, the AS-21 Redback has a crew of three, and can accommodate up to eight infantrymen at the rear of the hull. The AS-21 Redback IF will be fitted with EOS T-2000 turret armed with one Bushmaster and K-44S 30mm cannon, a MAG-58 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, 76mm multi-barrel smoke grenade dischargers and two Spike LR-2 missile launchers, 